Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Precise Book Reviews. Wishing my viewers a very happy Ganesh Chaturthi. Wish you a great festive season and hope you all are staying safe and healthy. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, then please do so right now so that we are always connected and you do not miss any of my latest videos on interesting books and their reviews. You may be from any part of India or from any part of the globe, but once you settle down in this city, you will truly call it your home. The city and its people have its own charm and beauty and that's why no matter from where you are, you will love the city of Bengaluru. Today we will discuss a book that I believe every Bangalorean should have in his library. So let us begin the episode. The book that I am very happy I read is Bangalore by Peter Colaco with sketches from Paul Fernandez. I bought this book at Blossom's bookstore in Bengaluru and will love it if you buy it from that store too. If you are not able to go to the store, then the link to buy it on Amazon is in the description below. Today's Bengaluru is known for its IT culture, rat race and slow traffic pace. But it was not so back in the turn of the 20th century. It was known as the pensioners paradise for its laid back culture and lifestyle. This book takes you through that nostalgic journey which I'm sure many Bangaloreans are now craving for, including me. It actually traces Bengaluru back a hundred years of when you will love to learn the history of this city. The author Peter Colaco was a multifaceted person who was known for his enlightened conversations and for following a very simple life. He was a professor of advertising in IIMB and also donned the cap of a documentary filmmaker and musician. He is the author and director of a 70 minute video on Karnataka's state history. He passed away in 2013, but his writings leave a lasting impression. Paul Fernandez is a known artist and his sketches showcasing Bengaluru are a beautiful work of art. We both share the same alma mater that is the St. Joseph's Boys High School, Bengaluru. His work of art normally covers the coastal regions of Goa, Karnataka and Kerala. Bringing in the flavor of each illustration with color is something which complements this book. Reading this book takes you back in time when life was pretty slow paced and simple. It is just like reading Malgudi days, but with color. You will start comparing old Bengaluru to Malgudi. It is very informative and you will also learn some new facts about this beautiful city. The book is a sequence of loosely connected essays and you get to revisit the city by the author's writing and get a different view which I am sure many of you will not know. The old bungalows, the eateries, the landmarks which we often just pass by at traffic signals without giving a second look have a story to tell. Humorous anecdotes, the difference between cantonment and the city, why the weather is the way it is, the monkey top houses and the true meaning of a garden city are discussed in the first half of this book. The second half discusses more on the recent past. The book can be divided into seven parts beginning with some history on the famous landscapes and also the story behind naming the city. The later parts, as I said, discuss on how Bengaluru has now become an urban menace. But all this written with wit and humor. The city has always been an amalgamation of the old and the new, traditional and modern. This book 
is going to be personal once you buy it and it will be great to refresh some memories and it will be a fantastic collection. Go on a journey when cycling from Jainagar to cantonment wasn't a Herculean task but a daily routine. It is a book you will need handy when you are having some wonderful time with your friends and family as you can tell them some tales about the city and share some good laugh. If you liked this video then hit the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel.